Now, there's a very popular tool that I personally love to use instead of having to run all these different commands manually, such as in the reconnaissance phase and in map. So auto recon is a comprehensive tool that automates the tedious process of service enumeration during a pen test. It's designed to be both thorough and efficient and provides a detailed overview of potential vectors for exploitation. To get started with auto recon, it doesn't come installed on Kali by default, so we'll have to actually download it. So auto recon download. We go to Tiberius. He's the one that created the tool. And then we can quickly see how to install it. So installation, you want to do sudo apt update. So we'll go ahead and do apt update first. Let that run. Now, once we have that updated, we can clear this out and then see the next command to run. So sudo apt install Python 3, install Python pip. So go ahead and just copy that. Right click, paste clipboard and then run your command. So good, looks like we're good there. Now we'll want to install the supporting packages. So install Seclus. We already installed Seclus in the previous videos. Additionally, the following commands may need to be installed depending on your OS. We're good there. On Kali Linux, you can ensure these are all installed using the following commands. So just copy that, right click paste, and then you can see it's installing Seclus. We have that. And then the following other tools, just in case. And then we could go ahead and hit Y for yes. And then just let that do its thing. Cool. So that finished. We can go ahead and clear that. And then installation method one using pip X. This is the recommended method. And then there's install auto recon using the following command. We can do that. Install method two. And then upgrading pip x upgrade auto recon. We'll just stick with method one. And then go ahead and paste that. And then go ahead and hit the Y option. Yes, to continue. Now pip x will install auto recon in its own virtual environment and make it available in the global context, avoiding conflicting package dependencies and the resulting instability. Now, before we run auto recon, we see here you will need to open a new terminal or re login for path changes to take effect. So we go ahead and X that out and then just open up a new terminal once again. Now, the next part, we'll have to install auto recon using the following commands. So just copy that and then paste it so we can install it. Creating shared libraries. And then this will be the next command to run. So again, let that do its thing. Might take a few minutes to download. Cool, now that that finished, we can go ahead and run auto recon using sudo. Then we can see we can run auto recon. Cool, now it's asking it to specify a target. Now we can just do auto recon dash dash help to see the different arguments we can potentially use. So I went ahead and made the window a little bit bigger. So now let's go ahead and just create a directory. We'll just call this Let's say Windows 7. Do an ls. We see we have a Windows 7 directory over here. Go ahead and cd into that. And then, of course, we'll do auto recon and then the IP of, let's say, our Windows 7 machine, 1002 17, or dot 17 actually. Now it's going to scan the target, and then you'll see a bunch of, a bunch of different events and results populating up on the field. It discovered open port 445, 135, 139, etc. Now auto recon is going to do its thing and everything that it does. So let's say scanning, it'll actually populate here so that we can see what phase of auto recon we're in. So now it looks like we're just doing an in-map scan. And then we can just let this run. It may take a while. It's running. It's using a bunch of tools. It's going to be doing web app enumeration. So like domain brute forcing, things like that. In-map scans, stealthy scans, full in-map scans, quick in-map scans, things like that. Now we see the scan is still going, but other scans may have finished, so we can just go ahead and do a Control Shift D to split the tab. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Now we see a results directory was populated, so we can cd two results, do an ls. We see the IP of the machine that we scanned, so cd into that IP, do another ls. 
we see exploit loot report and scans directories the first three directories exploit loot and report will be empty that's just something that you can use on your end and then we have the scans directory so we can cd to scans do an ls dash la see if i can move this up a little bit now we see all these files in directories so each directory or every port that was discovered will have its own directory and then the scans performed against that port and then all the files here that you see a full tcp nmap scan was ran manual commands to try patterns.log quick tcp nmap.txt commands.log and then top 100 udp nmap.txts so we'll go ahead and just open up a folder go to windows 7 results the ip scans then we'll take a look at full tcp nmap And we see it ran a, a full TCP scan. We see port 135, 139, 445. SMB checks. So this is the SMB part. We see the name of the PC, John PC. Now maybe we want to see manual commands we can try. So these are manual commands we can try. Such so as crack map exec SMB to crack the SMB port or the SMB share. So this was just brute force for the top hundred passwords. Look up SIDs, brute force SMB using crack map exec. Now we have quick TCP and map scan that was ran. Top hundred UDP scans. So UDP response from 137, no response for the other ports. Let's say we want to go into port 135. We'll see it ran an RPC architecture scan. Socket connection time now, so it didn't work, but we know that the Windows 7 machine is a 64-bit architecture. RPC, nothing useful there. Another RPC dump. We can see all the DLLs on the machine. Scroll down. Just look around, see if there's anything useful in there. And then so on. So you can go through each of these folders. We see a new for Linux was ran. So we see this command was actually ran. So this whole command is automated. NBT scan. SMB client was ran. SMB map was also ran, but nothing useful. Auto recon, super great tool to use, automates a lot of your manual scanning, and then you can start from there. This is a great starting point if you want to begin the reconnaissance phase.